want to find all the items of litter that we found on the Cairns and Townsville JCU campuses. There's a number of different ways that we can do this, but to do it in this video, I'd like to showcase the intersect tool and also demonstrate how you can combine tools together to make your workflow a little bit more efficient. So first of all, I have all the data points here from the data set. You can see them all, all on the map and in the attribute table that I've got down the bottom here. I also have the campus boundary feature class and that's listed in the table of contents. You can see it in the, in the map if you zoom in and we have labeled Cairns and Townsville JCU campuses in terms of those individual records. Now, the first thing is that you'll notice in the attribute table, we have a litter type over here if I sort it the other way, we have a range of items where it has null as the litter type, and that's because it's some form of infrastructure, a rubbish bin or something like that. So I'm not actually interested in those. I just want the litter types. So I do need to do a query to select by attributes. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do here. So I'm going to add my clause and find by litter type where it is not null and that should hopefully find me all my litter items so let's just run that and let's just see our result here we've got 1700 records selected we can pop over there and see they definitely are our different litter types as opposed to all the ones that are null or our infrastructure types if you were to scroll over in that attribute table so that's great i've got those so far now what you could do at this point is to export these as their own feature class, but I'm going to take advantage of the fact that Arc will run an operation based on items that are selected. Now this can trip you up sometimes if you have things selected that you don't want to be selected, but today I do. So now what I want to do is find just the subset of these data points that are already selected that we would be able to find within our campus boundary feature classes. So if I come in and I can zoom in, for example, let's let's come all the way into into our Cairns campus up here. So basically what I want to find out at the end is I only want to have these points that are sitting within this purple polygon. I only want to have those ones plus the same on the Townsville campus. So I said I wanted to use the intersect tool and the reason that I want to do that is because in my output, I also want to retain the information that I would see in the campus boundary. So the part of the campus boundary that I'm interested in is to make sure that each of these points is actually labeled with whether it's on Cairns or Townsville campus. So let's go ahead and start up the intersect tool and you can either type it in the search bar there or I've already got it up here. So I'm going to intersect my Townsville Cairns litter. Now remember that because I have something selected already, I've got my 1700 odd records selected here. This operation is only going to work on those selected records. And I want my campus boundary. So perhaps have a think about why I'm choosing to use the intersect here and what the different output is compared to if I was perhaps going to use the clip. So I want to make sure that my output is exactly what I want it to be. And what I'm going to do is change this. So instead of it's Townsville Cairns, I'm actually going to change that to be JCU. So that will allow me to see that I've got just JCU and it's intersected there as well. All right, so let's hit run and see what the output looks like. We're going to have a look at the output, both in terms of the map and the attribute table as well and see what's shown there. So we're going to turn off Townsville Cairns litter and let's see we have our points here which have been nicely chopped, cropped or clipped if you like to the Cairns boundary there and if we were to go let's have a look at Townsville so I'm going to select Townsville there I might zoom into Townsville that's just on a right click there and excellent looks like we've chopped all of our points let's just double check if we zoom all the way out Excellent, so I shouldn't have any points that are outside either of those campus boundaries. Now the check to make sure that we've done this correctly is to have a look at our attribute table for that intersected feature class. So let's just right click on that and bring up the attribute table. And let's see, so we've definitely got fewer, fewer records in our attribute table, which is a good start. So remember we started off with those 17,000 odd, odd selected records. We should only see litter types when there is no null there. So let's double check. Let's do a quick 
sort on those. Excellent. So I don't have any of those records that were null. And if we scroll all the way over, we should now know for every single record which campus it was on. So now we see we have this appended field. It was not in our original litter attribute table there. It finished on photo. Now in our intersect attribute table, as we scroll all the way over, there's photo. We now have this information that's come across from the campus boundary feature class. So everything is labeled as either on Townsville or on Cairns campus. So I've managed to combine that information from the campus that it's on and also clip, clip it down to the campus and remove all the extra data points and only consider the litter and not the infrastructure as well. All in one go. So really efficient use of a tool.